Our Camo Studio for iPad 1.2 update brings mobile device support, a revamped screen recording experience, improved thumbnails, and a few other additions to the app. Mobile device support means you can now use the awesome camera on your phone or tablet as a video or audio source for live streaming or recording content. To get started, download the Camo mobile app from the App Store or Google Play, and make sure your device is on the same Wi-Fi network as the iPad you want to pair with. Accept the device permissions for camera, microphone, and local network as you go through the initial setup process. In video source settings on the iPad, select camera as the type and tap pair a device in the device menu to bring up your pairing QR code. On your mobile phone or tablet, hit the wireless symbol in the top right and scan the code to pair. Within a few moments, the camera on your device will be automatically selected and you'll see it show up in your scene. You can choose which lens on your device to use along with the familiar set of video source settings. Once a device is paired, you can also use it as an audio source, configurable from the Audio tab. In iPad 1.2, we're excited to bring you an updated and improved screen recording experience that will show you a more accurate preview of what your content will look like. Now, when you add a screen recording to your scene, it will be the default aspect ratio as the iPad screen so the view isn't cropped. To preview your scene and place your picture-in-picture -picture camera, tap Activate Screen Capture in the Source Settings sidebar and then Start Broadcast. After the countdown, you'll see the camera pip and the screen recording preview show up in the main window. From here, you can size and place your pip in any of the four corners of your iPad screen and check out what it will look like in your stream or recording. Activating the screen capture from the sidebar only starts the screen broadcast, so be sure to still hit stream or record from the top menu bar to actually start the live stream or recording. With this update, non-M1 iPads can also now do screen recording, although you do still need an M1 chip or newer to screen record with the camera pit. We'd love for you to download the latest update and give our revamped screen recording experience a try, and we can plan a follow-up video based on any questions you leave for us in the comments. We've gotten a lot of feedback from you about accessing stream or scene panels while live, so we move stream panels to a tab in the sidebar to make the interface easier to navigate while you're streaming. This release also includes a few quality of life improvements to the scene editing experience, including layer visibility toggling and images being added at their original aspect ratio. Your feature requests, comments, and questions are extremely valuable to us in how we continue to shape Camo Studio for iPad. So go grab the update from the iPad App Store and don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at reincubate.com. We'd love to hear from you and I'll see you in the next video.